Greetings, dear viewers! I'm Quill Quickcard, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger Randomize. What the hell? Okay? Um... What the hell is going on? Okay, um, I shouldn't actually be able to access any of this. Um... Alright, they, they say, do I want to be put on trial again, so I, I can only assume that at some point I was put on trial and then ran... Oh, okay. Um, and they're not gonna serve me any food. Oh boy, these timelines are all kinds of messed up. Uh, that Princess Nadia in this castle's dead. Yeah, I'll bet so! Where's Princess Nadia? Okay, so, funny story about that, but for once, I don't actually know the answer to that. Okay, another power meal. So that is 100% confirmed that you can find duplicates of items. Uh, these are Nadia's tutors. Honestly, feel a little bad for them, to be frankly honest. I sure hope that at no point in the last uh, several centuries any of the royal family ever had more than one kid. Otherwise, they would have very quickly run out of room. A beret. Okay. So... She's got... Lowest. I'm going to try to keep defenses... Relatively... Equivalent. Whenever possible. The next place I would go would be the, uh, dungeon. Oh. Okay, it won't let me access the dungeon. Well, the next place after that would be the future. Um... Hmm. Okay. So... What... What does it actually want me to do? Um... So what, what are other potential story beats that I can access right now? Um, the bridge event in the Middle Ages. Uh, the forest planting event. But if the enemies maintain their levels, I am going to absolutely get my ass destroyed if I do that. And I am not confident that I could defeat the boss on Xenon Bridge as I am right now. Uh, Ozzy's Fortress 
and Magus's castle. The uh... yeah, this is this is kind of a tough one. I'm not I'm not totally certain what I'm supposed to be doing. Where's Quill? Uh, Quill, Quill's right here. Y yes. Hmm. Is Xenon Bridge active? Our rations have one out. Have the supplies from Guardia arrived? Okay. So it does seem that I can activate Xenon Bridge, and maybe I could go as far as the Hero's Medal? Hello! Yes, your brother is on the bridge, he's, he's very hungry, I, I was apparently put on trial. Uh, I'm gonna leave now. Give me some jerky. Hello, sir! Take this with you. Oh! Oh, I got the clone. Okay. Alright, so... Those are not food rash! That's my clone! Oh god, no! No, don't eat my clone! No, the cook has not saved you all! Why would you do this? Oh god, no! Oh god! I think they're eating my clone! And Hep was in front! I think it's a clone of Ayla! They're eating her- oh god, no! Oh, this is so confusing! I- Okay, so the bony ones... Oh no. Oh no. How much is that hitting for? Okay, that that's not unreasonable. If I remember correctly, I think I think Ozzy had to be hit with physical attacks. Um All right. I Oh no, it's it's turned this into an auto scroller. I am so lost. That's okay, that's okay. Uh two cat attacks on Ozzy will break his spell. Uh, my assumption that this is going to relatively follow the regular sequence of events was clearly very misguided. Pep, if you would, please. I am a little worried about fighting Zombor as I am now, but I did just get two Lapis, and those are an extremely effective healing item. I mean, restoring 200 to everyone in the party uh, basically gives me, in, like, just ludicrous resiliency for this battle. Okay. Oh, crap. 
Yeah, that's right. Uh, Goku is still attacking randomly, isn't he? Alright, I know one is weak against... One absorbs fire and one doesn't, but I can't remember which is which. Okay, the bottom absorb... The bottom is weak against fire. That'll work for that. Alright, the bottom part's dead. Um... Let's... Let's drop some healing. Ooh, that hurts. Thank you, Bob. Oh, hey, she got the, uh, she got the MP. Yeah, that is, that is a very slow rate to regain MP. Uh, Hep, I'm gonna need you to kiss yourself. And everybody else, I guess, just start attacking Zombor until we're done. We got enough health now that it's probably not going to outlast our offenses. Thank you, Goku. Oof. Being stabbed a bunch of times by a skeletal rib cage is probably extremely unpleasant. <laughs> Damn it, Goku's probably down. Yep, Goku's down. Uh, Bob's back up. Oh, crap! I did not think about that. I do not have any revives. Shice. Uh, I'm actually in relatively bad shape. But we can knock out the cat attacks now. It still should not be able to survive much more of that. It doesn't have that much more health than the bottom part. I'm beginning to see now why, though, it, uh... Okay, that's the end of the fight. Wow! Wow. Uh, do you still give me a helmet? No, you do not. Okay. So in the normal game, you could talk to him after starting the bridge event. Because it's not supposed to be a sort of auto-scroller like that. Uh, you would be able to talk to him after you started, and he would give you originally a gold helmet. Hey, Toma. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and... I'll, I'll pay your tab. Yeah, creepy dangerous frogs have taken over the southern woods. I'll bet they have. This is so... This is so bizarre. Luca's my favorite. I'm just going to throw that out there. Luca is my favorite. I would not be surprised if I end up at some point saying some uh, interesting things about Luca. Just understand, it's because Luca's my favorite. Um, I want to attempt to get some treasure from the sunken desert. Um, it 
might be possible to get in and out. There's only a few fights that are really mandatory. The problem, though, is that I don't think I have any possible way to win these fights. Unless, of course, the enemy's difficulty has been reshuffled a bit? I... I genuinely don't know. I have... no sense. No, they should not be that weak. They really should not be that weak. Um... That's interesting. Or at least everything in my mind and memory tells me they should not be this weak. Uh... Yeah, can, can you drop a napalm on them, please? That's gonna hurt. My defenses, my offenses, everything I have is so inconsistent right now. It is almost impossible to have a sense of, of what I can and can't do. That is a buttload of experience, though. Hmm. Well, I had hoped that those would do something. I am probably going to lose this fight. Interesting indeed. Uh, can you use your kiss and heal us up? I'm going to try to get at least this first treasure chest, but I think it still has another enemy encounter. Alright, Pearl Edge. Alright, so so one water two will take out the uh, the sand fish. Oh, crap. Uh... Unless, of course, I plan very badly and don't actually have the MP to do it. Okay, now I do. Drop the attack. Kill these things. And I want to get the hell out of this sand pit. Alright, Water 2 is sufficient to kill all these enemies in one. And I did get a Pearl Edge, which I believe is for... Yup. That is a massive increase in my offensive power. Okay! So, it is, it is completely possible for me to handle... Uh... Probably not the boss... I genuinely do not want to attempt the boss in there. At least not yet. Um, the boss in the sand pit is not... Well, if you know how to handle it, it's not a hard boss. But if you don't know how to handle it, um, then it is exceedingly difficult. That's something I actually learned, because the boss has three parts. Uh, it looks just like Zombor, 
but then it also has a little sort of eye-shaped core in the center of its body. And from time to time, the top and the bottom parts will try to absorb health from that core until the core dies. And I think it has like a thousand HP or something, nothing too crazy. Not like the top and bottom parts, which definitely have more than that. Uh, but what's really neat about that boss is that so long as the core part is alive, the top and the bottom parts are both substantially less active. I'm getting a buttload of experience and tech points. Um, oh no. Oh no, it's all locked! Oh no, it's all locked until I visit the end of time because that's... Oh no, that's where you unlock more powers. Oh... That's not good. But it makes sense. That way I can't just, like, roll over and get maximum power immediately. Uh, can Frog even cast another one? Yes, okay. Quill can still do one more water too. I'm gonna have to fiddle with my menu setting. I need, uh... I'm really gonna benefit in active battles by having... Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. Alright, let's, let's make some changes. Uh, active wait time. Yes, save menu cursor. Yes, save battle cursor. Uh, window color. I actually really like that one. Battle messages, we can actually speed up. And speed the things along just a bit. That's one ether. Now, another good feature about the sand area is that it has non-respawning enemies, which is very, very convenient. Uh, it means that now that I will have cleared out every enemy in here, I can go rest at the end, I can come back, and I wonder well go Goku Goku needs to stop berserking for right now. Um extra speed is good. I think I'm actually going to make an attempt on the boss. Uh, provided that the boss is down there? If the boss is down there, I will make an attempt on it. And I just want to be completely straightforward here. Probably lose. If the boss is not down on the next level, though, there's a lot of treasures I can, uh, I can get. That's a mid ether. Oh no. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do is attack the head. 
Now, as long as the core is alive, the parts that get hit by water stay weakened. But, once the core dies, then the defense resets every time you attack it after hitting it with water. So that is another huge, huge reason to keep the core alive. It makes you take less damage, and it makes it take more damage. Here we're going to see if this is actually going to be possible. Alright, let's do our leap slashes, our spin cuts, everything we can do. If we can take out part of this thing, we have a very real chance to take out the whole, but it's still going to have a lot of HP. That's probably going to kill Quill. Yeah, I, I, I feel fairly confident that this is uh, that this is going to fail, and that core is not going to live for very long either. That is unfortunate. Wait, crap! Don't hit the core. Oh, damn it! Uh, okay, so, this might be possible, but unfortunately, now the core is raising its defenses after every attack. If I had not hit the core, this might have actually been possible. Oof. Damn it. It also doesn't help that both the top and the bottom parts are able to absorb um, life. Alright. Let's do a mid-ether on Ayla. And a mid-ether on Quill. This isn't impossible yet. But I need to be moving a lot faster. And if Quill goes down, I have nothing. Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, that that's the end of the fight. Oh. Or it's still taking full damage. Okay. That was really, really close. I'm actually going to give that one more attempt. Because that was a beautiful fight. And I am confident that I can win. That's the Hurricane Scythe. That's a full tonic. An ether. A lapis. Come on. Mid-tonic. 
I was kind of hoping for weapons or armor down here, but that's not really working out. All right. Let's do the cat attacks and let's activate. You know what? Screw it. We're not going to waste our time. Uh, we're just going to go in straight for the attacks. Just go, 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 go. Just attack, attack, attack. Let's kill these things as fast as we possibly can. Sand breath doesn't matter. All right, we're gonna hit the bottom part. Another spin cut on the top. Oh, that move hurts. That move really, really hurts. All right. That's gonna hurt. Mm. That's okay, though. We've got enough leeway that I think I can finish off the base before this thing's able to kill me. Leap slashes, mid tonics on quill. I think I have the speed to pull this off. Sand cyclone, okay, that's gonna hurt, but it's gonna be alright. Leap slash, mid ether. Nope, alright, that's it. Just kill the core! What the? What just? I have never seen that happen when using Leap Slash. I have no idea what just happened. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm not going to question it. We have cleared the desert. And we have unlocked a tab. Uh, okay. Wow. I am actually speechless. Everything about this is so bizarre that I genuinely am having trouble figuring out what is going on. Uh, hello, Toma. You again. Yeah, I'll buy you a <clears throat> soda. Oh, yes, the, <laughs> the rainbow shells on an island. The thing is, I don't know which island. Y you know what? For once, I would actually believe that that is a true statement. Um, okay. Uh, I think Tata's house might... Does it have a treasure chest on the top floor? Or am I thinking of something else? I'm thinking of something else. Okay. 
then I guess the magic cave, is it open by default? It is not. Okay. What about Magus's castle? Okay, Magus's castle is inaccessible. So is the other side of the magic cave. What about the claw cave? Alright, that is also inaccessible. What about Ozzy's fort? Okay, this one is accessible. Uh, you know, I, I think we can forgive Ozzy for being a bit confused about this one. Interesting. Then the only other place I really have right now that's currently accessible is the Dinodoro Mountains. I definitely at a good level right now. If I clear the Dinodora Mountains, then I should get at least one key item. And then if I go to Tata's house, I should get another key item. Possibly... I I genuinely don't I genuinely don't know what's happening. Uh I know that apparently the soldiers of Guardia decided to eat my clone. Uh kinda kinda upset about that. Alright, a bolt sword. Unfortunately, that is a downgrade. I believe the bolt sword is the one that you are able to buy in the future, uh, which is slightly weaker than the red katana or load sword that you can get a little earlier, or or something like that. Look, things are a little crazy right now, and it's screwing with my head a bit. This is a terrible place. You best run away while you can. Are, are, are you warning me about the mountain or about just the randomizer? Because I would honestly believe either. At least that still works. <sighs> There's a lot of treasure on the mountain. And I want to make sure I grab everything. Because any one treasure chest could contain the secret to my victory. Like right there. Good armor upgrades. Um, there we go. Everybody's got some better armor now. Really haven't found much for helmets though. I love Chrono Trigger. I think Chrono Trigger was the second RPG I ever played. It I honestly cannot recall if I played Final Fantasy 3 or Chrono Trigger first. But when I was young, there was an absolutely massive electronics store. Or at least in my memory, it was absolutely massive. And when my dad was in town, 
Uh, he took us to it one time, and he just pulled this game off the shelf, and he got it for me. And the cover of it looked so cool. And it was Chrono Trigger, and it, it had such a powerful, profound effect on me. And I think it really helped to set me on the course to be a lifelong gamer. I just... I love it. I love this game. And beyond all nostalgia, the graphics, the sound design, the maps, the story, everything about Chrono Trigger is a masterpiece. I have literally one, exactly one complaint about Chrono Trigger. And that is that I think when you first get Frog and have to backtrack to the end of time to teach him magic, I think that's kind of boring. And that's honestly the end of it. That is my only complaint with Chrono Trigger. So, being able to play it like this in just a completely new and unexpected way, in a way that challenges my memory and my problem solving and my ability to adapt, is so unbelievably satisfying to me. Oh, great. Two plasma guns. I find a lot of duplicate treasures. It's kind of weird. I'm curious if that's in or if I'm just getting, uh, like, weird loot rolls, or, or what. I honestly don't know. Um, and, of course, with any randomizer, it's always hard to have a really good sense of just what the inner workings of that randomization are. But I know I'm enjoying this. That's the third one of those that I've come across. Alright, let the gauntlet begin. I'm really curious if I'm going to end up getting the, uh, the parts of the Masamune as the next story beat. Because normally, uh, I would get, normally I would clear them out, I would get part of the Masamune, I would take it to Frog, uh, along with the hero's medal, and then Frog would move away from that other chest in their house, which has the other part of the Masamune, which has a name on it that leads me to Melchior, who suggests I go to the past, and then I go to 65 million BC. Normally, that's the way that the progression would go from the Dinodoro Mountains. But also, normally, all of that stuff would happen after I'd already been to the future. And all of that happens after a trial... Which, not only have I not had, but 
given in-game dialogue, I don't know if I ever will. I might have actually, uh, that might actually be an event that doesn't tri uh, trigger? I don't know. It's, it's really hard to tell what's working and what isn't, and in what capacity. All right, you know what? Bob, can you take care of this trash for me, please? Thank you. Excellent. I am making progress, possibly. Yeah, and that's a bolt sword. So, I have found two ruby mails, two bolt swords, and uh, two plasma guns on this map. That seems like more than bullets. So, what's this? A mid-tonic. Now, I am going to fall down the mountain because I want treasures. And there's no way of telling what any given treasure could be. And yes, okay, a tabin vest. Um, she takes a hit to defense, but that plus two speed is so good. And we already cleared out the gauntlet. Those enemies respawn. I've never really gotten what they're doing there. Like, are they polishing the sword? Are they just sort of dancing or what? I just never really understood the gesture that they make. Just a little further to go. That's another ruby vest. The treasure... The, the treasure distribution in this game is so bizarre. There's my first magic tab. Alright, and finally I can use a shelter. I still have a long way to go, or possibly not at all. Who knows? What I do know, though, is that I will see you all on the next one.